Hello and welcome to another question. Here it says you are given zinc chloride 0.7%, phenylephrine 0.1% and boric acid 1.1% with E value 0 0.16, 0 0.32 and 0 0.5 respectively. So this solution would be A. Hypotonic, B. Hypertonic or C. Isotonic. All right, so this is a tonicity adjusting question. And because you've been given the E values, um, the best method will be to use the sodium chloride equivalent method. All right, so in the sodium chloride equivalent method, we determine, first of all, how much sodium chloride will make a given volume isotonic. And that's based on the idea that um, 0 0.9 percent normal saline is isotonic and then we'll go ahead and determine what the contributions of the various ingredients in your preparation will be in terms of sodium chloride by using the E value now if you need a more detailed explanation on the sodium chloride equivalent method you can check out my other video I'll link to that um, to this video all right so first of all what you want to do is we were not for some reason given the volume of the preparation but we can assume a volume so let's assume the volume of our preparation to make the calculations fairly straightforward is a hundred milliliters so the first thing we want to do which would be kind of like our step one is to determine how much sodium chloride will be needed to make this volume isotonic? And we said that 0.9% normal saline, it's isotonic, which means 0.9 grams in a 100 ml times our new volume or the volume of our preparation would give us how much sodium chloride is needed to make this volume um, isotonic if there was nothing else in it so now that we've determined that we now need to figure out these ingredients in there the zinc chloride in in this concentration the phenylephrine in this concentration and the boric acid in that concentration what is it going to be in terms of the sodium chloride amount and so to do that we first need to convert the percentages to weight and then we'll multiply the weight by its corresponding E value. Okay. So what that means is if you take, um, the zinc chloride, we are going to have 0.7%. Okay. Which basically means you have 0 0.7 grams in 100 ml now because our volume is a hundred ml this would give us the weight of zinc chloride in the preparation we now want to convert this weight to its corresponding equivalent in normal in sodium chloride so we multiply that by the E value which will be 0 0.16 okay so if we do that, that should give us, so this cancels out and we have 0 0.7 times 0 0.16. Now according to my calculator, that should be 0 0.112 grams. So this 0 0.112 grams is the equivalent amount of sodium chloride contributed by the zinc chloride. Okay. So notice, just to remind you, it's you go from the percentage trend to the weight and you multiply the weight by the E value. Okay. So we did that for zinc chloride. We want to do that also for the remaining components. Okay. So we'll do that for phenyl ephrine. And for the phenyl ephrine, what it's going to be is it's going to be 0 0.1 gram over 100 because that's the percentage trend we multiply that by the volume of the preparation 
and then we multiply that by the its its e value which is 0 0.32 okay so that goes our way and we should end up with 0 0.032 grams we do the same thing for boric acid so you now have boric acid now boric acid is 1.1 percent so we'll do 1.1 gram over 100 milliliters from the percentage strength multiply that by the volume of our preparation and this should give us our weight which we can multiply by its e value which is 0 0.5 and so that should give us 0 0.55 grams all right so the next step which we can call as a step three is we need to add up all of these quantities because that will give us the total amount of sodium chloride equivalent uh, contributed by all these three ingredients and then we'll compare what we get with the point nine that we determined in step one so we now have 0 0.112 plus 0 0.032 plus 0 0.55 um, and that should give us 0 0.694 grams. All right. So for step four, we compare. We are going to compare the zero. We have 0 0.694 and we are comparing that with the 0 0.9. Okay. That we had in step one. So here is the thing. The 0 0.9 grams is what represents isotonicity. So if the value that you calculate from step three is equal to 0 0.09, then your solution will be hypotonic. Obviously, we had 0 0.694, so that's certainly not isotonic, so option C is out. And so if the value that you calculated is less than um the 0 0.9 so if it's less than that means you have a hypotonic solution okay so because 0 0.694 is less than 0 0.9 our solution is going to be hypotonic okay uh, so just to be clear if this value was larger than 0 0.9 let's say 0 0.954 or 0.1.2 then your solution would have been hypertonic. But because we had 0 0.694, which is less than 0 0.9 in this instance, that will give us a hypotonic solution. Okay. So just let's just go through the high points real quick. The first thing you want to remember is that for the sodium chloride equivalent, you want to determine for a given volume what the amount of sodium chloride is going to be. Now, this question didn't give us a volume, so we assumed a volume of preparation. Now, if this number was like a 30, this is what's going to change, okay? And so once you determine the, this is, represents the amount of NaCl, okay? That will make a 100 ml isotonic. The next thing we want to do is all these ingredients in there, the zinc chloride and the phenylephrine and the boric acid, they all contribute some um, particles in there to make your solution, uh, um, to change the tonicity of your solution. So we want to see what those contributions would be in terms of sodium chloride. And the way you do that is to multiply the weight of the ingredient by the E value. The E value is kind of, is the equivalent value, but it's, you can think about it as an exchange rate. No, it's what you would need to do to convert the weight of an ingredient into its corresponding weight in terms of sodium chloride equivalent. So the reason we had to go through 0 0.9, 0 0.7 over 100 times 100 is to change the percentage strength to a weight quantity. So that gives us just grams and we can multiply that by the E value. So this gives us 0 0.112 grams NaCl. And then we do the same thing for each ingredient. So this is also NaCl. And that is also NaCl. Okay. 
and then once you're done you need to sum it all up and then you compare this the value you get in step three with the value that you had in step one our quantity was 0 0.694 which is less than 0 0.9 so that means we have a hypotonic solution okay so that's how you approach this question so if you like this video just click the like button or click the subscribe to get notifications of future videos and if you need more examples head over to our website www.rxcalculations.com